Today I'm answering this question, what is the biggest life hack? I'm Asuka, you can ask me anything. This is Nina, you can ask her anything too, but if you want to achieve something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, hear me out, you can use this method. Yeah, let's just go over what is the method. It is very, very simple. Essentially, you create a rule for your own behavior that is repeated every single day. Let me just give you some examples of what I've used it for. I used it to write a novel, I used it to write a nonfiction book, and I also used it to get in shape. Just this morning, I did 105 push-ups in one go. I had never, ever imagined that I would be able to do that. And if it wasn't for this system I'm gonna share with you now, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. You have a thing that you wanna achieve, but you don't know how to achieve it. So how about starting out with this? Each day you work on your thing, whatever it is, for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, you say. How's that gonna bring me any closer to my goal? Well, here's the thing. Take the thing you're trying to achieve, your dream, and answer this question. How long have you had this dream for? More than a year? A couple years? A few months? Have you, in that time, moved any closer to achieving your goal or your dream? Well, if you'd spent just 15 minutes each day, in the course of an entire year, that amounts to 91 hours. Now, if you sit down and work focused, dedicated, intensely on something for 91 hours, don't you think you would have moved closer to the goal? And you'll also learn to take yourself as seriously as you already take other people. What do I mean by that? So let's say you have a job. Do you ever wake up and uh, are about to go to work and just think, I'm not gonna go to work today. I'm not gonna call anyone, I'm not gonna send my boss an email, I'm just not gonna go. Do the same thing the next day and the next day and the next day. We typically don't do this. And for some reason, it's easier to look at the relationship with our workplace or our boss or our company as a responsibility, as something we have to do. But for some reason, we don't take our own goals and dreams nearly as seriously. Isn't it way more serious, really? You've probably heard this before, but the number one regret people have on their deathbeds isn't anything they've done. It is across the board, survey after survey, same thing comes up again. It is the things we don't do. So why do you keep working for other people and not yourself? It doesn't come natural to us. But think about it. If you want to achieve something extraordinary, out of the ordinary, isn't it almost obvious that you have to change your behavior to reflect that? And the easiest way to do that is really just to decide that each day I'm allocating, say, 15 minutes to this, to this activity. And maybe you're thinking, yeah, but I want to build a company. I can't, you know, just working 15 minutes, that's not going to get me any closer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna write down all the stuff that needs to be done. That's step number one, right? And here's the beautiful thing. Once you start doing this, let me actually use my push-up regimen as an example. So the rule I follow there isn't a time allocation, it is a numerical value. My rule is just each and every day, I have to do at least 200 push-ups. I do it three days on, one day off. but. On all the days that I do my push-ups, I have to do at least 200. And sometimes I actually, I'm about to go to bed and I realize, oh my God, I forgot to do my push-ups today. You know what I do? I do my bloody push-ups. And what happens is I write down how many I do each day. I've had like one or two days where I've only done 200. It becomes a sport. It becomes something that I want to excel in. And I've actually had several days where I've done almost 800 push-ups in a day. I mean. Would I have ever done 800 push-ups in a day without my system? Never. I, I can honestly say I would have never done that. And it's the same thing with working towards your goals or dreams. 
put in the effort every single day. And here's a bonus piece of information. This is extremely important, actually, because I had this realization, let's call it six, five or six years ago, I think, I started implementing these systems. But back then, I would work from home as a freelance translator, but I would work pretty much six days a week and I would each day I would have an assignment and once I was done with the assignment I would start focusing on my own stuff but that didn't work because after six or seven hours using all my cognitive power all my brain power on my assignments I would be done I mean I would still do it because I knew I had to stick with my rule but I wouldn't really get a whole lot of work done and I realized why am I taking my job more seriously than my own dream to finish this novel I was working on back then. And then I just changed the rule. I just said, I'm gonna start every day. I think it was 30 minutes I started out with. So the first thing I would do each day before I started working, before I did anything else, besides making coffee, of course, was just sit down and write on my novel. And the amazing thing was, more often than not, I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep writing for another 30 minutes. Sometimes I would write for two hours. Sometimes I had to stop myself because I was realizing, okay, I'm not gonna make my deadline, my work deadline, that is. But that's just, that's great, right? Because here's the thing, you are gonna make your work deadline because you have to. For some reason, that's just easy for us. But the other thing, the thing you're doing for you, maybe your family, Posterity, maybe. That's not gonna happen automatically. But if you make a simple rule for yourself and you follow it each and every day, it's gonna be an integral part of your routine. It's even gonna start simmering, so to speak, in the back of your mind when you do more trivial tasks. And you're gonna move closer to achieving your goal. A few pointers, some do's and don'ts. Don't make this first rule you make for yourself unrealistic and also don't implement more than one rule until you've demonstrated to yourself, until you've proven to yourself that you can manage one simple rule each and every day. Very often, people are just a little too over ambitious. They're like, oh, I'm gonna spend two hours each morning working on my own stuff. That can actually be hard because also initially, you may not really know the direction you need to go in. And, and just the sheer fact that, let's say you, um, you break your own rule twice during the first week that you've in implemented it, that's just gonna send yourself a bad signal. You can always go over, and that's also why I recommend that you set, initially, I'm gonna make this rule for myself, I'm gonna work towards X for 15 minutes each day, and I'm gonna do so for an entire month, and then I'm gonna take stock and decide what the new rule is gonna be. Maybe you wanna just stick with your rule, or maybe you wanna change it, maybe you wanna turn up the time you use on it a little bit, or maybe you, you've you learned that this is actually not my dream. But I can guarantee you one thing, and that is that you will get smarter. And most importantly, you'll learn to take yourself seriously. Almost all humans have some sort of feeling of responsibility towards other humans. But for some reason, most people don't have the same feeling of responsibility about themselves. If you wanna achieve something a little bit out of the ordinary, you need to develop that. And this method is gonna help you do that. I can almost guarantee you that, that if you actually do this and you follow through with it every, every single day, even just one minute, even just spending one minute on something each day, if that's all you can muster, do it, because doing something for one minute each day creates some new synapses in your brains, some new neural pathway pathways that are just gonna get you into a new habit of thinking along some new lines. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many side effects, positive side effects by this method actually, that I can't possibly describe them all here. And this is not rocket science. I realize that this is extremely simple, but how many people do you know who do this? one person or zero i'm guessing one of those two so just a few notes and pointers before i wrap it up here first of all i don't use this system for everything or anything and i prefer to have only one at least no more than two rules running at the very same time sometimes you can actually face these rules out when you don't need them anymore once you've had your first positive experience with this system 
you can also change the rules a little bit to better fit your personality type. Now a whole other issue when people try to achieve extraordinary things is motivation. This is sort of a crude attempt to circumvent that issue in the first place, but it doesn't necessarily motivate you to do it. But your motivation is gonna be this. You will know that you're gonna screw yourself over if you don't do it. Essentially, what you're telling yourself is, I take other people's de demands of me more seriously than I do my own. Is that the person you wanna be? I don't know, maybe it is. It's not the person I wanna be. Using this method, I've been able to write two books, gotten in shape, and to run this very channel that you're watching right now. Check it out. It really is a brilliant and simple system. Just to sum up the system, take the thing you wanna achieve, allocate a specific amount of time and or effort that you are gonna to put towards that every single day. Number three, decide on how long the system is gonna run. Once that period is up, you're gonna take stock of the situation and either continue or expand. And then you're just gonna keep at it until you're there. And again, if on your journey to your goal, you realize, I don't really want this, that's great. You could have thought that you wanted this and regretted that you never tried for an entire lifetime. But now this simple method has spared you of that painful experience. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything, it has value to me. And I'm actually betting that it's probably gonna have value to you as well. I'm Asko, you can ask me anything and don't hesitate to ask your question in the comments below this video. Thanks for watching. You'll see me again tomorrow. Have a good one. Cheers.